everyone welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah this definitely falls into the life and stuff category if you're new here welcome I invite you to stay a while lots of good stuff running around in my little crazy life um, if you're not new here welcome back welcome back to the madness <laughs> This here is something that's kind of madness. Um, I won this in one of the many giveaways from Garden State Gardener, and his sticker has fallen here. Garden State Gardener. Yes, he has crazy lives from 7 to 9 Eastern most Sunday nights. And then now he started a thing on Mondays. Either it's called Hot Mondays or Pierogi Mondays. The name may change, but whatever. Okay, I won this on that. This is one of my shaking around here. Carolina Sweet Heat Peanuts. That's all fine and good, right? But the name of the company, the name of the company is Pucker Butt. Pucker Butt. Yes. I'm not even kidding. I don't know. Even if it focuses, it's kind of blurry because it's printed really, really tiny. Pucker Butt. I just want to say it again. Pucker Butt. Pucker Butt. I can't stop saying it. It's so funny. Um, and they have a website, uh, PuckerButtPepperCompany.com. All one word. On the back it says, Caution product may be spicy. Manufactured by SBG. Distributed by Pucker Butt Pepper Company, Fort Mill, South Carolina. Ingredients. Peanuts, sugar, and special pepper blend. And of course they have to put the caution on there that it contains peanuts what was your first clue I hate that we have to do that now but anyway let's see if this is Deborah proof packaging maybe I'm like tore on one side for me that's never a fault of the packaging that's just my inability to open things apparently and yes I do have a paper towel in front of me so that I can wipe my hands and I have a drink over there just some sugar-free sweet tea stuff and I have scissors. All right, I tried. I tried. I have to resort to the scissors. Or the skizzers, because that's how they're, they're spelled. Skizzers. With now paper stuck in them, because, yeah. All right. Right away, I just smell peanuts. It's not a bad thing, because, you know, they're peanuts. Let's see if the sweet heat is sweet and heat. Take a few of them because they're small. Mostly I'm just getting peanut at this point. But I have a feeling it's something that's going to sneak up on you. And like with any, you know, peanuts roasted or otherwise. You gotta eat, oh, there's the heat. It snuck in. Little bit of warmth right underneath my tongue, actually, at the bottom of my tongue. Not super hot or anything, just a little, hi, how are ya? You get a little sugar to counteract it. I'm looking for sodium on here. Not a lot of sodium, and that's funny because I would have wanted more salt on these. Just my personal take. They're good though. Good little snacky snack, you know what I'm saying? All right, pucker butt. These are pretty yummy. And thank you, Joe, Garden State Gardener. This was a good win. He emailed me after I won these. He's like, you ought to do a review on these you know, because pucker butt, because it's hilarious. And yeah, let's see how many times I can say pucker butt in one video. Pucker butt. <laughs> the only problem with these and with any snack that you have to eat with your fingers, it's hard to crochet while you do it. I will live with like a paper towel in my hands wiping while I snap because I'm a fat chick. I'm going to snack, okay? Not bad though, nutrition wise. It says six servings per container, and that's a pretty big container. This is an eight ounce package. So that's a lot for a serving when you consider serving sizes on labels and stuff. 140 calories. Again, not bad for a good snack. 
total carbohydrates 13 grams. So, yeah. Pucker butt. <laughs> Pucker butt? Pucker butt. Uh-huh. I'm going to keep on snacking on these. And I uh, hope y'all take care of the rest of your day. Please come back and see me again. And I will see you very soon. Oh, wait. We have a visitor. Pucker butt. He's not a pucker butt. He's just a butt munch. Bye, y'all. <laughs>